Hi, let's look at some Star Trek Micro Machines. Star Trek Micro Machines were made between 1993 and 1997. Uh, they were made by the toy company Galoob, who were founded in 1957 in San Francisco, coincidentally the home of Starfleet Academy. And Galoob had early success with their bizarre wind-up symbol-banging monkey. Um, but would go on to have more success with Micro Machines, the uh, mini toy cars, primarily. And also Star Trek. Um, so yeah, they were released between 93 and 97, generally in um, three packs, although there were some larger uh, packs. Um, with more models. They are roughly about two inches long, made of a quite soft plastic and with interchangeable transparent stands. Um, the, uh, they're pre-assembled and pre-painted and the detail on them is uh, quite good considering their size and the fact that they were aimed at the toy market rather than a, 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 a model maker's market. So there's the Enterprise D, um, uh, not the Enterprise D, the original series Enterprise. Uh, so we'll move on to the Enterprise B. The one that Kirk supposedly died on, but he didn't. He ended up in the Nexus. Sorry if there's a spoiler there. Um, uh, Generations. And from the B, we'll go on to Picard's Enterprise. I've got a couple of these, so I'll just stick that on there. We'll pretend the other one is uh, another Galaxy class. Let's say it's the the USS Galaxy, or perhaps that. That one that got blown up in, um, in Deep Space Nine. Here is a Eagle Moss D looming into view. It's just a little size comparison. Bit of a size difference. But you know, the micro machine shouldn't feel inadequate. It is a micro machine. It's meant to be small. And you could put them in your pocket and, you know. I guess take them to school and swap them or mess around with them. So we could imagine from the D emerges a Type 6 shuttlecraft. I always like the design of the Type 6. I like its boxiness, but also the um, the aerodynamic snubby nose of it. I preferred it to the um, original shuttlecraft that we saw in the early part of um, Star Trek This Generation. Now this one's named the Berman, presumably after the long-serving um, Star Trek producer. I just saw recently on Twitter that Rick Berman and Denise Crosby, who played Tasha Yar, are having a bit of a spat. But perhaps they were joking around, who knows. And we'll move on to another Starfleet vessel. Uh, some rather ugly star, Starfleet vessel, I think. Yeah, rather busy design. Um, apparently quite difficult for them to film inside it as well. Um, and I think eventually Deep Space Nine themselves gave up on the runabout and that's one of the reasons why the Defiant came along. Well, so if we imagine... Warp the runabout over to possibly my favourite... Micro Machines model, Deep Space Nine, Terop Noor. And um, it's really nice, it's, considering how delicate it could be, it's actually quite robust. As a, to as a toy, it's actually quite solid. You get the f If you dropped it, it wouldn't break. Uh, I'm not going to test that out for you, but uh, I'm sure it wouldn't break. But coming into view... We've got the uh, owners, the builders of Deep Space Nine, the Cardassians and their Galo class ship. 
The Gull Cluster was a bit interesting because it was uh, it's the same design as the symbol of the Cardassian Union. You know, which came first? The design of the ship or the design of the Cardassian Union? I don't know. Perhaps that's just uh, a crazy, crazy world of science fiction. But maybe there is nuts for it. If there is, um, let me know in the comments below. But um, this is one of my favourite designs, the Ferengi Marauder. Um, I just think it looks a bit like a horseshoe crab or something. The Ferengi originally was supposed to be a scary, terrifying, Klingon-esque type race. And in the end, ended up as a sort of ridiculous comic relief. But they have rather nice uh, marauders, at least, to fly around in, and none will be mega capitalists in. Um, the, d the detail on the bottom of the uh, marauders quite good as well. So. If we assume that the Ferengi were going to be the new Klingons, they didn't turn out to be the new Klingons for Next Generation, the, the Klingons were the Klingons, and is the Vorchar attack cruiser. Again, really good level of detail, especially compared to the Playmates larger version, it, all, the, all the details there. They've got the emblems, the Klingon emblems on, just as the Ferengi Marauders had the Ferengi emblems on. And moving on to from one green ship to another green ship, the Rom Romulans, the Romulans, and a scout ship type science vessel. Another Romulan ship is the classic Dideridex Dider Dider design. It has a nice donut hole in it, but unfortunately, in the Micro Machines version, they've put a strut in to make it more solid. But you know, they are toys rather than um, collectors' uh, models or model kits. And to finish, to conclude, there can be only one, one collective, Scourge of the Galaxy, the Cyber, the Borg. So the Borg cube, again, really nice detail on it. Um, actually prefer this version to some of the other Borg cubes, uh, toys and models I've seen out there. They ain't playing the Borg. But yeah, I uh, enjoyed collecting um, Micro Machines, uh, Star Trek Micro Machines. Uh, it would be a shame that they're uh, long gone, but um, thank you very much for watching. Live long and prosper. Like and, s like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the Nexus.